7 News at Noon. Good afternoon, South Florida. We start off the week with some heartbreaking news, one we had hoped we would never have to report. Mr. Ed Anson, the owner of Channel 7, has sadly passed away. He was a giant in the broadcast industry and loved this station and everyone who worked tirelessly to bring you the day's news and events. Mr. Anson was also a respected and revered leader throughout South Florida. 7's Craig Stevens has more on the life and times of this television pioneer. As a broadcast pioneer, Ed Anson changed the television industry. And it all started in 1962, when his father, Sidney, bought the South Florida station, then known as WCKT-TV. At that time, an NBC affiliate until nearly 30 years later, when NBC would pull the peacock from Channel 7. In those days, that as an affiliate in Miami, we were an appendage of the network. And we had a limited opportunity in which we stood out because of what we did locally. That was the news. Anson knew to succeed, his television station had to stand out. And to accomplish that, he had to break the mold. Live from South Florida's news station, WSVN7. Everybody predicted, I say the world predicted, that this was not going to work. But it did work. WSVN-TV joined the Fox network, and with a new vision, 7 News blazed a new path. You had to be creative, innovative. You can't afford to be boring. You have to keep doing new things. And to both supporters and critics alike, one thing was undeniable. 7 News was anything but boring. Amazing pictures. This is one story you have to see. WSVN-TV was highly successful. The fast-paced, visually compelling, and innovative newscasts were emulated across the country. Anson also wanted to bring that energy to his hometown of Boston. Anson's Sunbeam Television Corporation would reach beyond the Sunshine State and into the Northeast when he purchased WHDH-TV in 1993. WHDH was a CBS affiliate at the time, but just a few years later, he once again became a partner with the Peacock as an NBC affiliate. It was a great partnership for more than 20 years and led to great ratings success, but the relationship would end. WHDH lost its NBC affiliation in January of 2017. But Anson had been through this before and knew necessity is the mother of invention. WHDH became an independent station. Anson liked being beholden to no one and came up with a game plan, pouring even more resources into the news operation and airing the game show Family Feud in prime time. It's time to play Family Feud! And those bold decisions paid off. 7 News at 9 and 7 News at 10 are number one in prime time. An accomplishment unmatched by any other local news station. For Anson, it was not just about delivering the news, but working to build a better community. Over the decades, Anson gave generously to the United Way. <laughs> Habitat for Humanity, feeding South Florida, boys and girls clubs, and best buddies to name just a few. We're really pleased that we can be a part of it, help the kids, help the community. In terms of philanthropy, I mean, I, I, I feel that I'm in a position to be philanthropic, and I should, and I enjoy being philanthropic. But the reality is, as a television station, for the audience to relate to you, you have to relate to the audience. Far from a hands-off owner, Ed Anson walked through the doors of WSVN-TV every day. He once said he didn't look forward to the many holidays because it meant there weren't many people for him to talk to at work. He was a true leader, not just by title, but by example. Anson told the Boston Globe, I want to die with my boots on. And that's what he did. Anson was in the office just this past Friday doing what he loved. When asked previously how he wanted viewers to think of his stations, Anson was humble but clear. I, I want to know that every day, day we do the best we can and we try to continue to engage our audience and uh, give them the best newscast and everything else that we can and, and uh, it works for us. Under the leadership of Anson's sons, Andy and James, we will continue his work and follow his vision into the future. We're still all processing this, but it's so hard to believe that we won't be able to see him in the hallways anymore yeah. as he leaves here for lunch when we're leaving at 1. And we're all going to miss that gentleman, because that's yeah. what he was, right? A Without true gentleman. A doubt. We'll be right back.